Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be talking about Good Lock 2020 if you update or when you update your phone to Samsung WinUI 3.0 or if you already have it, which modules work, which modules don't work, and also letting you know the exact month and time frame that Good Lock 2021 will be released. So as of lately, if you updated your phone to Samsung WinUI 3.0 and if you do use Good Lock, which Good Lock is a region locked application, if you go inside of the Galaxy Store and you don't find Good Lock, it just simply means it does not work in your country. Now, if you did update and you do use your good luck application, you'll notice that the majority of all of these don't work. It just says, congratulations, you have a new software. It's not ready yet. Some of them just say that they are unplugged. If you try to open up home up, you can go this far, but once you hit on open, sometimes it just crashes and it also doesn't work as well. Some of the family applications do work. So if you have a Galaxy Note phone, you have Pentastic that does open up. You also have Keys Cafe that works, Wonderland that opens up. I believe the edge lighting does not work. So there's a few of them that also is just not ready. So in today's video, we'll really only cover Quickstar because this is the one that works. I'm gonna show you what you guys are really able to do. And honestly, it's one of those that I don't really use that often, but it is a little beneficial and helpful for some people. And then we'll talk about when it will be released of Good Lock 2021. And it is very short uh, time frame. I do wanna let you know it's coming out right after the Galaxy S21. So the Galaxy S21 will be press released on January 14th. And then you'll be able to pre-order it that same day at night. And then it'll actually be released either on the 22nd or the 29th. It'll be either that Friday after or the Friday after that. And then basically right after that is when we're gonna see Good Luck 2021. So going inside of Quickstar, one of the things I do wanna show you is let's say that we tap on this little uh, little bucket right there, the little package. It takes us inside of the, the Galaxy Store. Now inside of the Galaxy Store, if you go through underneath what is new, you can see here that it says uh, One UI 3.0 only. New features added is uh, on One UI 3, so just saying that it'll actually work. It's a theme for quick panel. You can move a bunch of things around. But it says right here, please wait until the official release of Good Lock 2021, early February. So that means the first week or second week of February, which means basically one or two weeks after the Galaxy S21 is officially in stores is when they will finally release Good Lock 2021. So good news there. Now that you guys have seen when this is coming out, some of you might leave, that is okay. But before you leave, make sure you guys drop this thing a like. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button already. Uh, if you guys love these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on all your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now for anybody else who is here for not only just the release date of good luck 2021 now let's go inside of quick star now one thing that i do want to show you about this menu inside of good luck for the quick star is that you might notice a change from the older version so this right here is what it looks like if you have it on a phone that is not samsung one ui 3.0 some of the things is in different locations from what you saw from before you also have this theme right here that you're able to change and this is going to be moved over inside of the theme park. So originally, if you noticed this and you're trying to look for creating your own, you know, quick panel on the very top, different colors, this is actually going to be moved over inside of the, uh, the theme park. So I don't really play too much with these colors. I thought it was kind of fun. I wanted to create one right here that was for, you know, Jimmy is promos channel. You just go right over inside of here. You go to that plus button. And then for the main color, when everything is turned on, just select a color red. And I didn't go with the brightest color. And then I did go with gray if everything was turned off. Uh, and then uh, white for the lettering. So this way it kind of resembles the, the Jimmy is Promo YouTube channel. So if you are looking for different differences, uh, if you notice that on Samsung One UI 3.0, this is moved, that's the reason why it is moved over inside of Theme Park. So going inside of the visibility of indicator icons, this is the first tab. Now up on the very top, these top three, you don't really need to change. You can tap these and see what they do, uh, but the majority of the ones that you can change will be right over here. So if there's any of these icons on the top that you just kind of want to clean up, get rid of, or move around, you are able to do that with this application. So you can see here that I did have those little uh, mobile bar signals, which majority of the time you'd want to see if you have good service or bad service. Now, if you don't really want to see that that little 4G icon. My 4G is not there just because I am connected to Wi-Fi, but if I turn off Wi-Fi, it'll say 4G or LTE. I can keep my signal bars, but I can turn off that 4G or LTE if I wanted to. Some of the times when you have a phone that says Verizon or Sprint or AT&T on the top, you can also turn them off with some of these. 
than if you had an alarm. If you don't want to see that you have an alarm icon on the top, you already know that your alarm is there. You have alarm set every single day for 6 a.m. Uh, you can actually turn off the alarm icon, but for some people, they like to just see that there is something that is set. Same thing with the volume, you can turn this off. So right now my phone is on silent. So you can see that you can take away that small little icon. Uh, if you are using airplane mode, you can also turn that off. You can turn off your Wi-Fi right there, uh, the battery icon. So if you only want to see your percentage, then you can turn off that battery icon. So that might be something I'll do. I'll take off the battery icon for now. Maybe you're somebody who loves to use NFC. You always have it on, even though it does drain battery if you keep it on all day and you don't use it, uh, you can turn this off. So if you're somebody who uses NFC a ton and you don't like seeing this little icon, you're able to get that thing turned off. Uh, if you're always connected to Bluetooth, you don't need to see the, uh, the, the icon, you can turn that off. Same thing with the mobile saver. If you have that on uh, location, if you have the icon on the top and then the power saver as well. So if you do turn on the power saving mode, if you don't want to see it, you're able to have it turned off. So really that's the first tab here for the visibility of icons, um, clock settings. So here you can show if you want it to say AM or PM. Some people like to see that, uh, but uh, it also adds in a full other symbol. Now maybe you would want to hide it uh, fully, or maybe you want your time on the right hand side. So if you want to look really cool, you can have no battery icon, you can have battery percentage, and then you can have your date and time over there. Uh, and you can make it look like this. <laughs> so maybe I'll do that. I'll see if anybody made comments uh, in the future videos. Uh, notification sort order. So you can completely sort everything. Uh, you can even use sections, and that's something that you can play with. We won't really go far in depth with that one, only because I don't really have any notifications at this moment. The next one is show quick button grid menu. So for this one, I haven't really played with this one too much, but you can turn it on. But when you do turn it on, you want to change the quick button grid in the quick settings. So after turning it on, please go to your quick settings, expand the quick panel using two fingers, uh, click more button, the three dots, and then click button grid menu. So you're able to either show more or less. So it's going to be some of those quick buttons. You're able to have that show as well when you do pull it down. And then the very last one here is swipe directly to quick settings settings. So when you do turn this one on, this setting allows you to adjust the status bar area to expand directly to quick settings. So quick setting appears when the quick panel is fully expanded. Uh, basically, when you expand the quick panel with your two fingers, quick setting screen appears. So you can have it to where it's just going to be a, a quick setting right here. It's going to you know, take up the whole thing. You can also move it kind of where you want it to, to kind of show. So if you get notifications, uh, so you can see your little notification area and then the quick setting right there. So you can go through, you can play with this one as well. Another one that I don't really play with, honestly, the quick star application is one that I don't really use that often. I'm going to see if I like this setup over here. Sometimes it is nice just to take away the word of AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, things like that. And when you take those away, that is the only reason why I've ever used this in the past, but lately I just kind of kept it the way it is. So really that's the majority of everything for today's video. Uh, Good luck is not fully operating. I've been talking about this and showing it off in, in, in my past videos when I updated the Samsung Winnie Y 3.0 for the beta version a couple months ago. Basically all of these are just broken. They're getting things ready. Um, but they're also getting ready for the full public release as well. So even if they don't fix any of these by the time 2021 version of this rolls out, I'm actually okay with it. I would rather have that new version because there's going to be more modules added. Uh, and, I, and I would hate to uh, uninstall these and then reinstall whenever 2021 does come out. So again, just letting you guys know a big heads up. If you love good luck, just a heads up, it will not work for the majority of all of these once you get Samsung One UI 3.0. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys liked it and hopefully it was a little helpful, a little beneficial, uh, the 2021 of Goodlock does come out early February. So we're very, very close. Uh, but give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hand subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.